Ah, here we are, gang. Greetings. It's Wednesday. Uh, keep you track at home. It's Wednesday, the 21st of September. And the first real video I've done in like three weeks. So let me start it off by saying I want to apologize to anybody who tried tuning in the last couple of weeks and you hadn't seen anything from me. Uh, I had a reason. Uh, I guess I can tell it now because it's because everything's really passed. Uh, about three and a half weeks ago, 24 days if you want to count at home, uh, that would be the 28th. 28th of August. Hey, uh, I had to take my mom over to uh, the University of Virginia Hospital in Charlottesville. She had chest pains. Basically what it was that she had uh, what is called aortic valve stenosis. It's a fancy term. Uh, what it translates to is fluid in and around the aortic valve in her heart. Uh, the fluid was there. It was serious enough to take her over. Uh, and they did the surgery on that, which was on the 2nd of September. Surgery was fine. They did a, you know, they actually did the, the valve replacement. And they had to do a bypass and all that. Bypass was great. It, you know, bypass was secondary in and of itself. The, uh, the aortic replacement was they had to take valve from a pig's heart and put it, uh, you, know, and, you know, replace the pig heart valve for the bad one that it was already in. A pig's heart, by the way, as you found out, is a lot larger. Uh, the valves are larger, the aortic valves are larger than a human heart, so more blood flow, which actually did help. Uh, but I have to tell you, this has been the last, uh, th th this has been the most fucked up two and a half weeks I've had to put up with. I've been seeing the surgery in and of itself. And as soon as they thought they were going to bring her home, uh, something else would happen. Uh, atrial fibrillation, a lot of things. Bottom line was, for a brief period about a week ago, I almost thought I was going to you know, almost shut this, you know, just shut everything down here, just shut down this channel and shut everything else down. Because, well, about a week ago, I wasn't sure whether I was going to uh, still have a mother around. The, one of the complications with kidney uh, complications it was not shutting down the kidneys, it was, but it was pretty damn close to it. <clears throat> Uh, but anyway, she's now out of the woods. She's home now. Uh, came home yesterday. So that's why I have not been able to do a video here for the last, uh, well, almost three weeks. So I know a lot of people uh, might have wanted to say something. That's why I didn't want to deal with comments because, you know, I needed my full attention. And lucky me, I come out of my hibernation for Dallas week. Oh yeah, I could. I'm back, folks. If you haven't figured it out, I'm back. Because if I'm standing here talking about fucking Dallas week, you know I'm back. And who would have figured at this point that the Redskins would be sitting two and zero and atop the NFC East? It has not looked pretty, but you know. I'm still not comfortable with Rex Grossman under center, but, you know, I'm going to live with this like everybody else is. Because suddenly the offense wakes up. I mean, we knew the defense was one thing, but now this offense is starting to wake up. I mean, we're finding people out of nowhere. I mean, Roy Hallou, this guy was like next to last. This is not even Mr. Irrelevant. This is like Mr. Next to Irrelevant. This is like the next to last pick in the draft. And not only did this guy make the team, he contributed on Sunday. As soon as I get done here, I'm going to uh, 
flip on and duel with my NFL.com fantasy team and see if he's available. If he is, I'm taking him. But I have a strange feeling somebody may beat me to him. <laughs> oh, well. So, that's kind of where that is. Uh, but it's Dallas week. And I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you fucking Cal Turd fans, guess what? We're sitting atop the division. Where are you? <laughs> oh, life is good. You know, this happens. And it is life is good because the Nationals suddenly are learning how to win. Uh, swept the doubleheader yesterday from the Phillies. I stayed home and watched that. Uh, well, at least watched the first game. Second one, I was up at my mom's house for about an hour. So I got back in time uh, to see the real fun. Uh, so, as far as the Nats go, at least now we're seeing something. I mean, I know it's the last week of the season, but at least we're seeing something that, you know, I haven't seen in quite a while, which is, you know, there's going to be a healthy competition now for just about every position. The rotation is one thing. You know, because now you get Strasburg back, you got Jordan Zimmerman, you got John Landis. Now what we need is a four and five starter for next year. And that's what the contest is going to be. Then you get, then basically, with the exception of Ryan Zimmerman in the third, and, you know, the catching, because that's split between Wilson Ramos and, for the moment, Pudge Rodriguez and Jesus Flores, they'll figure that one out. But other than those two positions, the other six uh, field positions, it's pretty much all it's going to figure out who's going to play where. You know, because you're going to figure Bryce Harper will show up in June. So, you know, whether you put him is anybody's guess. I mean, it's the outfield, but, you know, but th this is just something I hadn't imagined. It's, it's going to be a healthy competition here come spring training. Unless, of course, the Nats do something in the free agent market. I've been trying to go over this in my head because you no know, Prince Fielder has already said he's, he's leaving Milwaukee. You know, he's, he's just said, you know, I'm done with the Brewers or they're done with me, one of the two. I was sitting there trying to figure how much money Mike Rizzo and the Warners are going to throw at Prince Fielder to try to get him to Washington. Even if he doesn't come, I want to see how much money they, they seriously throw at him. I want to see this. I'm trying to I'm trying to picture Prince Fielder at Nashville Park. Oh, my God, he'd aim for the red porch. He'd aim for the curly W clock there in the scoreboard in center right, uh, right center field. I, you can almost picture it, but, you know, I mean, this is the fallback plan. I mean, come on. Even I know the Nationals are not going to throw $200 million in Albert Pujols. Even I know that. So, it's going to be interesting now for the winter meetings. You know, what surprises might come out of that come January and all that. Oh, God. Oh, let me think here. The NHL is doing preseason now. Regular seasons like like three four weeks from now. So, believe me, I'll start talking about the Caps when we get started for the regular season. Uh, but I just thought I'd throw that one out for you. Anybody really cares about preseason hockey? I'd love to be able to see it, but and the network doesn't want to show it for some reason. I don't know. They feel they want to show the Penguins preseason. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, dickheads. Run the goddamn NHL network out of Canada. You, you know, you anybody's ever tuned into this channel knows my feelings, you know, concerning the NHL hype machine because they, they they got their heads so far up Chris, Cindy Crosby's ass, their tongue is colon. You know. I mean, look, Crosby's good. Even I, I'll stand here and admit the man's good, but Jesus fucking Christ, man. He's not the second coming. No, the second coming of hockey wears number eight in red. Okay. That's all I'm going to tell you on that one. Oh, God, I am so talked out. Oh, I know what it was. The dick brain the other day who left a comment on a video I had done. 
you know, missed the time that I was on. There was like 12 and a half, but it was like a 12 and a half minute video I made. And the guy goes, hey, you know, 12 minutes, 35 seconds. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Well, you know what? I ignored your ass. Okay. Don't dick with me. You don't want, you, you wouldn't like me when you dick with my ass. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not even going to, you know. You're a pimple on my ass, okay? That's it. I'm not. Even, that's why I'm not even going to mention you by name. Why should I? You're just a pimple on my ass, and that's it. All right, folks, I'm done. Things coming in close to 11 minutes. I need shit to do. I need to flip on the Nats pregame show here in a moment. <laughs> I'm so busy doing this. So anyway, uh... So, as always, I will sit here and say, it is I, your friendly neighborhood, Sports Who's back. People, I'm back. And like I said, don't fuck with me. So, uh, I will now say adios, motherfuckers. Enjoy whatever it's worth. I'm done. So, we will see you soon. And yes, we want Dallas because we're going to kick your motherfucking asses Monday night. <laughs>